Hey guys, welcome to my channel Electronics Pedia. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about reset synchronizer. So let's see what first what is reset synchronizer and why do we need a reset synchronizer and how do we implement the reset synchronizer. So if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and also make sure you hit the bell icon so that you receive the further updates. Let's get started. So what is reset synchronizer? Basically, a reset synchronizer is a you know technique to synchronize the reset that is going from one clock domain to another clock domain. So just similar to the data synchronizers, how do we use uh, uh, right like you know sim uh, similar to that we will have a reset synchronizer so which will be you know uh, used to synchronize the reset. And why do we need the reset synchronizer? Basically, um, if you are not synchronizing the reset right like that if it is moving from you know going from one clock domain to another clock domain so then you might end up in a you know uh, uh, the meta stability condition similar to the data synchronizers we also need the recent uh, reset synchronizer now how do we implement so for this right like you know uh, you need to understand uh, what is the basic structure that is required for the data synchronizer so we will use the data synchronizer and we will modify it so that it becomes a reset synchronizer so so for that you need to understand the data synchronizer first so uh, with respect to this uh, you know um, uh, i mean how do we implement the reset synchronizer there are two variants so one is because the reset can have a you know um, uh, it can be uh, active low reset or it can be active high reset so for active high reset there is a different variant of the reset synchronizer and then for the active low there is there will be a different variant of the uh, reset synchronizer so let's understand uh, the basics of uh, you know reset how uh, you know how the reset works and then we will see how the how we can modify the data synchronizer so that it becomes a reset synchronizer so let me just draw the you know reset uh, waveform so that you will understand So now uh, let me take a simple one. So this is an active high reset. Active high reset. So what is an active high reset? Basically, okay. If it is one, okay. This is the my this one. Okay. So this is logical one, and this is my logical zero. Okay. So when it is one, so this time it is called reset is asserted asserted and here my reset is deasserted okay so when it is one so it is going to reset all of the flops and the modules that it is going to so that is what we call it as active high reset because when it is one it is going to reset your system so now when it is deasserted that is a value 0 so it is going to come out of reset so that you are out your module is out of reset and it can work uh, you know uh, with, with the help of the clocks and all of the other inputs so this is the active high reset now uh, the under the next one is active low reset active low reset so this is a, a reverse of this operation so basically when it is zero okay so when it is zero so that means this is zero this means the reset is asserted and when it is one okay so that means reset is deasserted right so uh, in order to you know you know uh, implement the reset synchronizer so we need to understand these two concepts see when the reset is asserted so I take example of this active high reset okay okay so take uh, we'll, let's take example of this so when the reset is asserted this is one when the reset is deasserted what is the value it should uh, be cons uh, consider you know the output of the synchronizer uh, reset synchronizer should be is zero okay so because uh, because when you are coming out of reset okay so this is the value that it should hold on okay so now i'll just draw a no uh, standard cell uh, two flop synchronizer now this is my standard cell two size uh, two flop synchronizer okay i'm going to call it as a standard cell 
synchronizer. Okay, so this is my standard cells. So what is my here? This is my DQ input DQ. Uh, now here we have the clock that goes over it here. Uh, this is my clock and this is my output. Okay, so now um, now what do we want from this? Uh, uh, you know how do we make this you know uh, standard cell synchronizer or a data synchronizer to work it as a uh, reset synchronizer now what do we need is we have this active high reset right so that will be the one which will be connected over here the reset to both the flops this is my reset that will be connected okay now uh, this is the reset that will be connected now when the synchronizer is uh, so when uh, this is active high reset so when reset is deasserted so that means what is the value that it should contain it should contain a zero so the, what i will do is i will connect this to my deep into zero okay so then what happens if i draw the waveform of this right like um, i'll just draw this So this is the active high reset right so what is the active high reset so basically this active high reset when it is asserted the output will be one okay so this will be one okay so now what happens is this is my uh, reset that is asserted like uh, this is my uh, this here my reset is asserted and this is the place where it is deserted now what will happen to this uh, q uh, this is my q0 and this is my q1 okay so these will be when the reset is asserted the output of this q0 and q1 will be 1 okay so they will be 1 okay so now what happens when the reset is deasserted okay so that means it is moving from 1 to 0 that time this has to uh, the output q has to take the in whatever that is there in the q input uh, sorry d input so that means now my d input is 0 always tied to 0 so my output q0 will be after one uh, the first clock cycle this will go to 0 and the second clock cycle this will go to 0 so that means this is the my behavior of my q this is a q uh, this is a q0 and this is my q1 okay so now if you see the what we are trying to do is we are exactly following the whatever the, the you know input um, uh, active high reset was there so we are trying to follow that so that means this is my reset synchronizer so we are synchro we have synchronized this reset with respect to the in this uh, clock domain whatever the clock that we have we are trying to uh, you know synchronize in this particular domain and now this can be this is called a synchronized reset output this is a synchronized reset now uh, if we are trying to design a active low reset so then what happens is this is my active this was my active high so if i am trying to draw a active low so then um, this will be the other way other way around so now active low reset is basically it will be zero initially uh, when the reset is asserted and now when the reset is deasserted it becomes one so this is my active low reset and uh, what i have is my here um, we have to see when the reset is deasserted what is the value it, it should get a value of 1 so that means for this particular synchronizer instead of 0 i will tie it off to 1 and this will be uh, inverted inputs because the reset is uh, active low so what we'll do is when the reset is asserted okay so that is 0 0 to 1 okay uh, when the reset is zero, so that means the, this is asset. Uh, um, yeah, here it will be zero, and this is zero. Okay. So when the reset is asserted, so that time my Q zero and Q one, both of them will be zeros. Okay. Now when the reset is deasser getting deasserted here, okay, so that means it's changing to one. Now what happens? This becomes. Uh, this these two flops come out of reset and whatever the input that is present on the d input that will propagate to my output 
so that means q0 will become 1 over here after one clock cycle and this becomes 1 after one second clock cycle so that this is my again this is my synchronized uh, reset so this is the idea of you know how do we implement a reset synchronizer so uh, here what we are doing instead of connecting the d input uh, to any other uh, you know input signal instead of that what we are doing we are just connecting this to a either a constant one or a zero based upon whether the, this is active high or active low reset now for active high the reset will go from uh, one to zero so that's why we will connect zero here for active low reset we will uh, if the reset uh, uh, goes from zero to one so we will connect a one which is a stable value which uh, which means uh, when it is one my module or the uh, you know block is out of reset so this is the idea of the reset synchronizer i hope this is uh, uh, you know clear to you guys so i'll in the, my next videos and also i'll come up with uh, you know what is the uh, reset domain crossing and why do we need it okay so basically similar to the uh, reset, you know clock domain crossing we have something called a reset domain crossing which i will cover in my next video please uh, you know um, if you um, if you want to understand more about the data synchronizers and all please watch my previous videos thank you